What's up guys, it's Rebecca the Diva coming at y'all with yet another video. That's right, two, two, two in one day. Hmm. Now, if you are new, thank you for clicking on this video. My name is Rebecca the Diva and this is my channel. I do reaction videos, hair reviews, um, cooking videos, lifestyle videos, day in the life, you name it, I may do it. Okay, you never can tell what you're going to get. All I need you to do is make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that share button because there are no secrets on this here channel, okay? Sharing is caring. And also leave a comment down in the comment section for your girl, okay? Okay. And if you are not new, welcome back Diva Gang. Let's get right into this video. As you can tell by the title of this video, and guys, I'm in my living room because if I go in my room, the birds are in the room and they're going to make noise and even though it's late, I ain't got time for that because I'm trying to get this done and out to you guys. As you tell about the title of this video, this video is about our girl, mm-hmm, lives life. I wasn't going to waste my breath on this chick, but I just had to. I, I... I couldn't resist. It's like, sis, you doing team too much. You have your baby father come stay with you because it's for the kids. And I use the, because I personally, and this is just my opinion, and I'm entitled to my opinion. <coughs> Excuse me. I feel that being with the mother or the father of your children just for the sake of the children is not a reason to be with somebody i mean nah because because nine times out of ten that situation is not going to work out the way you think about it and on the outside looking in from my point of view to me it looks like olivia is just obsessed with gerard period either they just when they're together the only thing it seems like they have in common is drinking over the past week every live that they've posted every video it's like they got a drink in their hands it's like really y'all can't be around each other unless y'all get lit for real for real that's fucked up because i wouldn't want to be in a relationship with somebody like that then it's the whole issue where she was talking to the maintenance man so she says before Gerard got there and her sink was messed up and the, the same maintenance man she was talking to um, had got into it with Gerard for whatever reason she don't know I guess they were talking like two normal dudes and next thing you know they, they, they squabbling I personally don't believe that story I personally feel that Gerard and Olivia got into an argument. They were arguing. And then that arguing turned into a fight. And somebody locked themselves in the bathroom. And somebody was trying to get to somebody else. I've been there, done that. You know, in the past. So, that's the way that situation looks. And she lives in an apartment complex. Which is obvious. And I know I live in an apartment complex. Now, me and my boo thing, we don't argue. When we do argue, it's nothing above a whisper because we're mature. You know, if I got to yell and scream and bust through walls, I don't need to be with you. Period. But I do live in an apartment. The people that live upstairs for me, because I'm on the second floor. So the people on the third floor, oh my God. They make so much noise. Like right now, where I'm at, let me get my little watt and clock. It's 6.28 in the evening. You can hear a pin drop up there. Mark my words. When I get ready to lay my ass in my bed around 11, 12, 1 o'clock tonight, it's going to be all kind of ruckus going on up there. Kids running backwards and forwards, grown-ups bamming and booming. So trust me. Whatever happened between you and Gerard, let's get it straight because you know you lying about some maintenance man. Whatever happened, your neighbors heard that shit. 
and they called the office the next morning and informed the office. The people in apartment, whatever, whatever, were arguing and making noise and whatever, whatever. That's how that went. And then that's when they put that little big pink ass notice on your door that you came and showed us the first video when you told us about the fight between the maintenance man and Gerard. And now this is the outcome. You're facing possible eviction or Gerard is going to have to go because you said they said, oh, he can't be on the lease or you're going to be evicted or you have, they'll give you a 30 day notice. So I'm for sure if they give you the 30 day, all of you guys are going. If they say, well, he has to go, you're going to kick your mans out. Y'all all, all going to go. So being an influencer, being a content creator, you should just tell the truth. Yo, y'all, it's like this. Because the truth is going to be found out anyways. The shenanigans that you guys are going through and doing is ridiculous. Gerard getting on the phone, arguing backwards and forward with his play sister, Nisi. That's ridiculous. It doesn't have to be done. Because my whole thing is Gerard should have stepped up and said something to Nisi in the beginning when Olivia made the video about Gerard's family being dysfunctional. And Nisi came in defense of her family. Okay. It was when all of this started. Because if Olivia would have kept her mouth shut and not said anything about his family, Nisi probably wouldn't have never started a channel. And then it's backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. So Gerard should have said something to Nisi in the beginning, nipped, nipped it in the bud right then and there. But nothing was ever said. And I feel now he done burned his bridges back in Texas with the family because he going to run into Olivia and getting into arguments and fights with Olivia, now he got to kiss Olivia's ass to earn his keep and to earn his place to stay. So, yeah, now I'm going to turn against my family so I can make this bitch happy. So I can have a place to live because I'm not trying to be the designated homeless. That's the way that looked to me. And in their last live that they had last night, which was Friday night, the 22nd, all of a sudden now they're getting a house, so they say. And, uh, uh. Daddy has a new job, just like that, from the other day posting why I take care of Gerard to now Gerard got a job. <sighs> Olivia is a hot, hot mess. What y'all think about it? Just leave in the comments below what do y'all think about this situation. And I promise you guys, this will be my last video on Olivia because the shit is getting redundant. To me, it's funny. <laughs> she just, she landed on thick. She landed on thick. And I feel half the shit that she puts out. It's just to get views. It's all for clout to get views. And then she want to get upset and in her bag whenever one of us reactors make a video. Stop putting your business out there and then we'll have no content. And if, Olivia, if you're watching, hey boo hey, thank you for this content. Until next time, everybody, I'm Rebecca the Diva. Bye.